How to Paint a Portrait in Watercolour Artwork by Vladimir London Part 4 How to Paint Decorative Design in Watercolour For the round shape around the girl's head, I premix three colours, two very dark chromatic greys, one of which is a bit bluish while the other has a green undertone, and the third colour is dark green. These three colours will be used for the round shape. Don't ask me which pigments I mix together to achieve such colours. For the purpose of this lesson, it doesn't matter. However, there is one good tip I would like to give you. If you want to use very dark colours, do not mix black paint. Black watercolour looks really dull. If you want to go dark grey, it is much better to mix some complementary colours to achieve chromatic greys. What complementary colours are and how to achieve chromatic greys is fully explained in the section on colour theory in the Watercolour Academy course. This course covers much more than colour theory. You will learn the rules of composition, how to mix and apply pigments, how to paint in alla prima and layer by layer, how to make realistic portraits and figures, how to paint botanical and animalistic artworks, how to paint seascapes and landscapes, how to paint still life and architectural compositions. The best thing about this academy is that it comes with a personal tutoring course. In this course, your skills and progress will be evaluated on an as-you-go basis. Your skills will be assessed after you complete each task. You will know precisely what to work on at every step of your curriculum. Every task will be fully explained, illustrated and step-by-step -step instructions will be given to you. Each task will be described point by point, so you can always know what to do and how to do it. There is simply no way to fail, because your skills cannot stay the same as long as you practice the watercolour painting techniques we will teach you. If you move through the tasks one by one and follow our guidance and suggestions, this course will work for you, and your watercolour painting skills will advance to a higher level. You may be wondering, is it possible to learn watercolour painting by correspondence? Studying by correspondence will actually give you a great advantage over some face-to-face -face teaching. First of all, your schedule will be much more flexible, allowing you to study at your own pace. But above all, you will receive all feedback and tutoring in writing. This means that it will be available for you to keep and refer to at any time, so you can re-read instructions and explanations, recheck our critique, refresh yourself on rules, remember advice you are given, and refer to educational materials that will be provided for each task. If you do not understand something, we will create a special video tutorial for you. For example, the very video you are watching right now was created for one Watercolour Academy Correspondence Course student. She had trouble with one particular topic, how to preserve white paper when making a variegated wash wet into wet. Part 2 of this video lesson was done to illustrate the process step by step. So, if you become our student and have any challenges or questions that we cannot explain in writing, we will make a dedicated video to show you how it can be done the right way. To see if this course is right for you, check our free video lessons on watercolour painting techniques. You will find the link to these lessons in the description below.